Developing threat right now, another missile launch from North Korea. President Trump says the news could have an impact on the debate over his tax plan. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, North Korea had not launched a missile since September. It came as the White House was set to host a bipartisan meeting on a tax plan, but Democrats withdrew after a presidential tweet they objected to, leaving a White House conference room looking somewhat empty. A missile was launched a little while ago from North Korea. I will only tell you that we will take care of it. President Trump reacting to the launch of still another intercontinental ballistic missile by North Korea. It flew 600 miles and landed in the sea. It is a situation that we will handle. It went higher, frankly, than any previous shot they've taken. It's a research and development effort on their part to continue building ballistic missiles that could threaten uh, everywhere in the world. The remarks by President Trump and Defense Secretary Mattis come on a day when the president had called a meeting of both Republicans and Democrats to discuss a tax bill, but there were empty seats in the room. Senator Chuck Schumer and Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi decided not to show up after the president had tweeted, I don't see a deal. The president said, I don't see a deal three hours before our meeting, before he heard anything we had to say. But the president says the gravity of the day's news about a missile launch may change the minds of the Democratic leadership. I think that will have a huge effect on Schumer and Pelosi. I think. We'll see. We're going to learn very soon. This afternoon, Mr. Trump visited Capitol Hill to promote the tax plan. Afterwards, the tax bill got through the Senate Budget Committee with the help of two Republican holdouts, Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee and Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. But it's not clear if they'll support the bill in a floor vote. And it goes now the next step, and I think we're going to get it passed. I think it's going to pass, and it's going to be very popular. It's going to have lots of adjustments before it ends. Now, senators with objections often give a yes vote in committee in order to give the bill a full floor debate and perhaps work out the differences. Senator Johnson wants a better deal for small businesses in the bill, among other objections that other senators have. They still have a ways to go before they get this through. Marissa Christie. That's a good point, Dick. Thank you.